Welcome back. We're going over tomorrow's workout for 420 on Monday. Tomorrow's workout is going to start off by having two different supersets. We're going to go as typical 1A, 1B, and then 2A, 2B. Now, 1A is going to start off with archer push ups. Again, archer push ups, we just did these last week, I believe a week ago from today. It's a hard variation of a push up, primarily trying to work one specific muscle group, so a little bit of a unilateral exercise. Now, if archer push ups are not going to happen, then what I would recommend doing is elevating one hand and you still want to primarily use the hand that's going to be on the ground. So you can elevate that by putting the other hand instead of off to the side as you would on an archer push up on top of a dumbbell, a kettlebell, possibly even a little step stool and we're working the other side for the majority of it, right? Now you still want to press with both arms but you're going to primarily use the side that's going to be on the ground. Now that's going to be done four sets anywhere between six to ten reps per side. Alright, so once you've done your six on the right, switch the, the uh, station you have, ball, kettlebell, anything you might be using to assist from the ground, switch it to the other side, and then continue to do the same amount of reps on each side. We're going to superset that with a weighted lateral lunge. Also, we did these last week, you're going to hold the dumbbell or a kettlebell, your feet should be about five feet apart, keep the toes forward guys and on the weighted lateral lunge, heavy on, there are a lot of hip hinge, right, so take the hips back and then flex up the knee, let the knee go over the toe, but try to keep your feet planted on the ground with the toes pointed forward, all right? Now, for the lateral lunge, that will be six to eight reps per side, so all in all, 12 to 16 total repetitions. Go through that thing four times, resting 30 seconds after each exercise. 2A, 2B, 2A will be dumbbell rows. This will be done with two dumbbells, just a regular bent over row. Remember to keep your chest face on the floor, neutral spine, keep the elbows in tight, and then squeeze the back and the bicep on every one of the, uh, the reps. We'll be doing sets of 15 for that. Again, resting 30 seconds after um, every set of dumbbell rows. And then 2B, contralateral plank, we also did this last week. It's going to be a hard variation uh, of a static hold, right? That will be done with your hand and arm extended from the top of the plank. That is hard to do. Obviously, the goal would be to try to stay as squared as you can to the floor. If that's also not going to happen, then drop on one knee and then we can do a bird dog hold. So just as you would do your regular bird dog, you hold each side for a total of 20 seconds. So that will conclude 1A, 1B, and then 2A, 2B. After you've done the strength, conditioning is just going to be a simple 12 minute AMRAP of single arm paint power clean that will be done with a dumbbell or a kettlebell followed by burpees. You're going to start off round one with four reps. After you complete round one, these are going to be total reps by the way. So you can break these up to two right left. But after each round, you're going to add two reps to each exercise. So the second round will be six, six, the third round will be eight, eight, so on and so forth. And again, the reps are total for the single arm paint power clean. So you can break it up in half per side, all right? Now, continue to add reps. I'm curious to see how far you guys will get within the 12 minute mark. Try to shoot for anything above, really 14, 16, maybe even closer to 20 for a couple of you guys. Uh, the warm up for the workout, two rounds, 30 jumping jacks, 20 mountain climbers, 10 up downs, and then five downward dog. Go through that thing twice and then you should be ready to go for the strength. The strength should take you right around that 15 minute window, maybe even a little bit less if you're going through it relatively quickly. Guys, overall, this should be a, a full body workout. I hope you guys enjoy the workout. Post your stuff online. I would love to see your results. Have a good day. Thank you.